Hello everyone and welcome to the stream today. I am joined with my brother right here and I am celebrating 100 YouTube subscribers. I just hit it uh, earlier today at the time of this recording and I think I'm actually at 101 subscribers now and also I'm at like 44 followers on Twitch around there. So I'm celebrating getting close to 50 subscribers and possibly hitting affiliate sometime soon. So uh, yeah, we just went to our local Target and picked up a bunch of Pokemon TCG stuff. We got the Eternatus VMAX. We got a bunch of stuff, so it's going to be a pretty fun opening. And then afterwards, I will be uh, streaming as per normal. And then, yeah, it should be fun, but let's get right into it. So first, we're going to open up this bad boy, this uh, very first pack. All right, so we got uh, just a basic... Sword and Shield Rebel Clash pack right here. Yeah, Pokemon gotta catch them all. A Heatmore. Kind of nice. Zatu. Tranquil. And then a, a Binacle. So those are the first four. So now we're into like the next couple. We got a Binacle. Oh, we got a nice little Scyther. Not, not rare or hollow or anything, but still a nice card. I'm gonna angle this a little bit up because the camera is not doing my favorite. Alright, so... We got right here a, a, a Vullaby, and then we got a Dreepy, okay, Magmar, bending over, doing some, uh, shooting some fire out of his face into the ground. All right, so then for our first uh, card, we have the uh, a Coughing Reverse Hollow right here, looking pretty nice, looking pretty nice. Team Rocket Oh my god! <laughs> first card of the day. First card of the day. We have a Cinderace VMAX card for the first card of the day. How about that? I don't know how well it's uh, picking up the stuff right here, but uh, that is cool. that's a really, really good art design. I, I think that might be considered a, a full art. I'm not entirely sure, but uh, yeah, so we have a VMAX Hollow right there. First card of the day. How about that? So we got we got a question. We got a question in the Who chat. Who is your favorite Pokemon? Ooh, that's a good question. That is such a tough po uh, question. I was actually talking to my brother about this uh, last night. We could go through each gen. I mean, probably. So if I, I'm gonna, I'll, I'll go ahead and I'll start that. Right so I have a tie between two. Uh, so a Gen Three Blaziken. Or uh, Garchomp from Gen, was it? Garchomp is Gen 4, yeah. Gen 4, okay. Those are probably my top two. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to have to say, uh, for me, I'm a huge fan of Luxray from Gen 4. Luxray was in every single one of my team builds in pretty much every single playthrough of, um, of Diamond and Pearl. So that was awesome. And uh, I definitely do like Blaziken for nostalgia purposes. Garchomp, of course, is just one of the coolest designed Pokemon. Um, in, in Gen 8, in, in Sword and Shield, I really loved... Um, what was his name? Uh, oh, clearly, I didn't love him all that much. Um, <laughs> but it was the... Uh, it was the it was the cart Pokemon. The, the coal Pokemon. I can't remember what his name was. It was like coal... something... I, I don't remember exactly, but he was he was one that I really, really enjoyed. He was a lot of fun to, to use, and he was actually like one of my best ones. Because he had this ability where every single time he would use a fire attack, it would increase his speed, which was awesome because he had fairly slow speed. So you just start off the match with like Ember or something, and then he's just faster. <laughs> have Burning Scarf. Galarian Farfetch'd. He was actually kind of cool. They made him a fighting type. All right, so we got a Caterpie. And we have a third... Galarian far-fetched, but a reverse hollow this time. Oh my, you're kidding me. Seems a bit far-fetched. Honestly. All right, so let's see what the last card is. Okay, so non, uh, non hollow uh, Snorlax. See him kind of just, uh, just chilling right there, sitting under a tree. Got some nice shading right there, but we got a nice reverse hollow. I don't honestly remember. So I'm gonna go ahead and give it, give it a crack. So we also bought the Eternatus box the big boy <laughs> the big big, the big boy, boy right there with the um platter sized card it's a v max seriously that thing is i think like eight inches that's huge it comes with a coin six booster packs um of course the big card as you can see right here and it also comes with two fancy cards which is another v max eternatus uh this one's actually going to be for aaron yeah, it's for you. 
and then it's the... also just the standard Eternatus V. If you're if you're just looking for cards that are just objectively cool and not necessarily that you pull them, then these ones, these ones are just so cool. Cause, I mean, look at that thing. It's a big freaking card. I mean, how is that not cool? It it, appe it appeals to the monkey in me where it's just like, ooh, yay, size, happy. Yeah, it's a nice little display shelf. Or I shouldn't say little, but it's enormous. <laughs> okay, now we're getting into the cool ones. We got a reverse hollow golet, and I can see the next card already that my brother's gonna be jealous of this one. Oh my god! It's a holographic agron. This was also one of um, my brother and I's favorite uh, Pokemon in Ruby and Sapphire. Yeah. Wow. So that's a pretty good pull. So we have. We have a, a Golette, a Reverse Hollow. Yeah, sorry, it gets kind of it gets kind of blurry as I as I bring them closer to the camera. Is there but, a focus button, maybe? Nah, not really. Um, and then we got that Hollow Agron. That's a that's a that's a good that's a good looking card. Plays with the TCG. We got this one who looks like um, what's the spirit's name from Avatar? Uh, the Wan Shi Tong. Looks like a baby version of Wan Shi Tong. What is the Pokemon? He who knows ten thousand things, but this one probably only knows <laughs> one thousand things because yeah, that's the that's the second of all form of our Rowlet. That's the um that's the starter from Gen Seven. Oh, it's a starter. Yeah, it's a starter Pokemon. It, it's that. evolved form. <laughs> uh, I forget what it, it's Decidueye. Is probably one of the coolest design uh, starter Pokemon. I like that name, Decidueye. Yeah. Morpeko looks like it couldn't make its decision between Pikachu or Raichu. Yeah, it's it's offspring. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and then we got another Galarian Farfetch. This dude's just out for me. <laughs> the Morpheco looks like if you took away the Lightning Stone from Pikachu way too soon. <laughs> <laughs> he, got, he, he didn't get the best of both worlds. He got half of neither. All right, so we got a, a Honage. And then we got a Galarian Corsola. I don't like the design of this Pokemon. It just makes me sad. <laughs> it just looks so depressed. If you can't tell by the <laughs> terrible camera quality, uh, the black little dots, those are its eyes, and it's sad. Look at this thing. I didn't know they did a Galarian Corsola. <laughs> it's so sad looking. <laughs> it, just make, it just makes me cry. Well, Corsola was really cool, too, because it was supposed to actually have coral on it, hence the name, but... They just shaved it. <laughs> yeah, it's the move it knows is called course, uh, Cursed Drop. It should be Cursed Pull. That thing just makes me sad. Then we have your rival. In Sword and Shield, we have Hop. I don't even know if I'd classify him as a rival. He's just a best friend who's the brother of the champion. He's like a low-key version of, what is it, Barry? Or from Diamond and Pearl, you're a... Uh... Your, your friend slash rival. Your rival that says he's going to arrive to the Elite Four five hours before you and... That's exactly what this character does, except Game he doesn't just do anything. There because he's lucky. Here's the next one. It's Zigzagoon. I actually really like what they did with the change on this one. I always thought... I, I don't know. This one just looks better to me. It just looks a lot cooler, cleaner. Not Obstagoon. Have you seen the final of all form? Is, is it also black and white? Yes, and it's just the worst. Is it? It's terrible. So they have Galarian Linoon, which looks really cool. But then they have, then they gave them a a, a third of all form, oh, and it's Obstagoon, and it's just the dumbest looking thing ever. <laughs> Alrighty, so we got the next one is Snom. I love Snom. I love him. <laughs> he he's just hers. A, <laughs> he's just a baby. Look at him. I love him. Uh, what I is he supposed to be? Snom. <laughs> he is Snom. He's snow. <laughs> I don't really know what he's supposed to be, but he's just like a bug. Looks like one of those ice shards you find in the middle of like throwing a snowball that hits somebody and it's like, uh-oh. <laughs> I love him. Here we're going to pull this uh, Pokemon Evolutions. Now, I think I'm, I'm probably wrong. Yeah, so this is an X and Y generation. Um, this is this is an, uh, an X and Y generation, so this is an older one, meaning that I don't think it's going to include any of the uh, the newer cards. So that means technically there's a higher chance to pull like an older uh, generation. Uh, actually, I don't know the card trick for this generation. I don't know if it's four. I think it's a little bit different. So I'm actually just going to open these like a uh, little Timmy on Christmas. So here we have a a, a Rattata, and I'm just going to pull this for you guys on the stream. Ooh, here okay. we go. We have a reverse hollow Doug Trio. Again, I don't know how much these ones go for at all because I'm not too familiar with like older TCG stuff. Um, but a very, very clean 
reverse hollow Doug Trio right there. That is really That's look at that art foiling. Too. Oh, that this wait, this was the evolutions pack, wasn't it? Yeah. Okay, so it probably is reusing a bunch of the old uh, card. Uh, that is art designs. Nice. That is a nice card. I like that. <laughs> I remember seeing this name, and I think I might butcher it, but it's Boofalant. Yeah, I think it's actually Boofalant. <laughs> uh, is that supposed to be a Taurus evolution, or is it its own? Play? No, it's 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 its own Pokemon. It's like a That's Taurus funny. Pokemon. Oh, okay, got you. Phantump. Another <laughs> Galarian Farfetch. This man is just haunting my dreams. I've pulled like five. <laughs> Alright, we have a, a nice little skull of it. Alright, so we got a reverse hollow Caesar. <laughs> How about you that? You just completely undershadowed Caterpie right here. Well, it's Caterpie. <laughs> what can you do? Caesar. Love Caesar. Ooh, how about oh. that? So not not a hollow. Probably one of the hardest Pokemon Got to get. A ever. Spiritomb. That is cool, dude. That was one of the coolest features in Diamond and Pearl was the underground oh. explorer kit idea. So good. I, if they ever do a remake, which I, just based on past remakes already, I hope they bring that back. Like, yeah. And make it a little even more extensive. It's paid DLC. <laughs> no, you know they're gonna do that. No. <laughs> they do like paid DLC where it's like a tad bit bigger than the OG version. All right, so we have Leaf Energy. All right, so we got a Reverse Hollow Toxtricity, oh. one of the coolest designed Pokemon in Gen Eight. I actually ran him in my team. It was very weird because I'm pretty sure he evolved at like level 37 or some ridiculous number like that. Didn't really matter. I mean, you leveled up instantly in Gen Eight. But all right, so for this one, ooh, it's looking good. Oh, how about that? Is that a choking? It's a, it's a snake. We got a Sanda, Sanaconda V pulled right there on our second Rebel Clash. How about that? Here we go. Bring to the front. And then we have just the basic electric energy. And then we have a reverse hollow Hatena. Now, if we were able to get a full art Hatcherine right here, that would be epic. I feel like it's only fitting to do this last pull in front of the camera. So here we have the reverse hollow and... Aha! A hollow Galarian Weezing. Is that one with the smokestack? It's the one with the top hat. <laughs> All right, so let's go through least rare to... Um... Most rare, I guess. Yeah, I guess. So here we have our trainer cards, Sonia and Milo. And then we got three ones that I just, I like. Uh, we have Grookey, Shinx, and Snom. These three cute little babies. All right, so let's put these down right here. And then let us look through our reverse hollows. So we have our Hatena right here. We have our Toxtricity. We have our Caesar. I really like that Caesar. Then we have a Passimian. And then we have this one, which I really was a big fan of. I like this pull a lot. Reverse Hollow Classic Doug Trio. I'll put that one off to the side for specialty. Reverse Hollow Blip Bug. Reverse Hollow Hone Edge. Panpour. Golette. Farfetch'd, the man who has haunted my dreams. And Coughing. There we go. And then, for the big boys. Our rare cards. We have Galarian Weezing. This camera quality is so bad up close. <laughs> Sanaconda V. Spiritomb. Rayquaza. Now this one isn't really like a rare because we didn't pull it. We bought it. Um, and then we have a Seismitoad. Regular rare. Star Raptor. Regular rare. Agron, Hollow Rare. And then the Eternatus V and uh, V Max that we bought from the card. We bought from the box. And oversized. And then of course the oversized. And then the first the first pack pull of the day, but the good one. A Cinder Ace is it V Max? Yeah. A Cinder Ace V Max. That's pretty damn good. Well, I will have to say, for not pulling cards in like a very long time in a consistent way, that was a pretty good card opening. We did a lot of uh, we did a lot of really really good ones today, 
And we got we also got some cool stuff like the big cards, and we got the uh, the two coins right here. So that was cool. Yeah, we got some really nice things. I am really in love with this reverse hollow dub trio. That one is very very good. 